Hello everyone, and welcome to the third episode of our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run. Last episode, we basically uh, started off uh, dead. <laughs> so we had to grab our gear from, um, from garbage. Since then, we died a couple more times. Apparently, not having a lucky start kills you. Which I know you should. You should. Uh, I mean, you don't want to know how many times I've restarted uh, the Invictus run before I finally managed to to get it right. But yeah, so we actually have to recover our body in garbage, <laughs> then grab this stash over here, and then go all the way to wild and recover our body from wild territory. Um which uh, we lost during a Psy storm. We were this close to making it to shelter, unfortunately. We didn't get to do that. After that, we'll go grab this stash here, we'll go turn in some uh, whatever missions we have in uh, Rostock, and then I would like to go grab the yellow stash uh, in army warehouses. Also establish some contact with the Freedom, and uh, maybe do some missions for them. Since we're ecologists, of course, we're friends with everyone. So um, we we really want to stay on friendly terms with everyone. Um, right. After that, I would like to go to Cordon. Um, and we also have a yellow stash in uh, the Great Swamps, which we also need to get. And as part of the main mission, we have to talk to the doctor. But for now, our priorities still kind of remain the same. We need meds, we need bullets. We're out of both. And my weapon, uh, I think, is completely empty at this point. Oh, never mind, we have 11 bullets. Luckily, our doctor friend uh, does, does murder things. <laughs> He is, uh, he's completely crazy, and uh, I, I love him for that. But for now, we'll just make a quick run, run to garbage, and uh, hope we don't get um, screwed over by the game again. Because last time, the reason we died was basically we, we transitioned to garbage, we got attacked by two boars, three cats, and uh, the last boar actually managed to attack us through a box. <laughs> I was trying to do to, to kind of a ring around the rosy thing with it. Unfortunately, the boar disagreed. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not wasting bullets on you, poltergeist. And that's how we handle those types of mutants. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> uh, the doctor should be coming with us soon. Yeah, I'm also completely out of meds. And here are the bodies of the boar I just killed. And the cats and the other boar which died right after he killed me. <laughs> okay, uh, wow, 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 the rats. Oh, that's not good. Right, so... Yeah, I, I don't even have enough money for, um, I don't even have enough money for one bullet. <laughs> right, let's go get our stuff. Which is in this anomaly. Oh, a ball. That's gonna net me a little bit of cash. Okay, my items are definitely not here. 
Um, so I, I'm guessing the game bugged a little bit because uh, I did have a clear inventory before. Um, I mean, I, I was almost naked before I went to um, garbage. So I'm guessing the game actually thought I dropped something and marked the stash for me, but uh, it looks like it wasn't anything, so we might have a quest marker permanently there, which kind of sucks, but um, yeah, nothing I can do about it now. Right, so... Uh, back to this. Oh, crap. I was taking damage from the heat, I think. There's not much I can do about it. Am I gonna die again? Okay. Right, so, funny story. I died again. Yeah, it, it it seems I'm I'm getting a bit tilted um, with this. So what I'm thinking is we might want to go to um, we might gonna want to go uh, to wild territory through Rostock. Actually, no, never mind. Let's let's just do it the way the way I need to do it. I should stay near campfire though a little bit just to um, just to regenerate some health, which was my mistake last time I didn't do. If there is a campfire lit here. Nope. No luck. Let's let's just move on. Чего тебе? Oh, there's a poltergeist there. And uh, guess what? I'm gonna completely ignore it. There is one good thing about uh, being completely naked. No, привет. It's the fact that oh, no, they have other jobs, of course. So yeah, uh, being completely naked. The fact that. Um, the stamina loss is negligible when running. So I could just run like this all day. Okay, I'm gonna grab the garbage stash this time. And try to stay away from any vehicles that might be too radioactive. Um, it's the one behind the house, so we can just go around here and grab it. <gasps> um, we'll take it and we can trade it for something else, I guess. Oh, these guys are fighting zombies. Which might be nice for me. And dogs. Okay. Um, change of plans. Run.
Escort squad? Nope. Doesn't wanna. Yeah, Doc's doing the work here. I'm just gonna let him deal with this. Uh, he's he's doing the arm cell reload. Um, it, it'll take one to one to five business days. Um, do some meds. That's gonna be helpful. Taking that, another thing. Okay, is there anything else? Another one. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, um, Butcher doesn't sell any meds. So we're, we'll not be able to sells ammo though <clears throat> so we can sell these and just try and clear the inventory i guess oh we do have meds we managed to pick up one charge of med kit and we hope that's gonna hold us <laughs> right um and i'll just sell all this ammo and uh, yeah I guess that's gonna have to be enough all right I am going to set this as my next spawn point so I don't have to run all the way down from uh, from agroprom again Oh boy, did we die a lot. How many was this? Five deaths until now? Six? <laughs> Let the professor deal with it. I don't want to waste any more ammo, so I'm just gonna try and let him deal with pretty much anything that's not too threatening. Because um, honestly, if I keep it, if I keep going like this, I I'll never, I'll never actually, <laughs> I'll never actually be able to buy anything. Right, anyone here? Uh, I'll definitely take it. And we can actually fix our armor, which is very damaged. And uh, you know what? I'll, I'll get to wild territory from the north this time. So oh, let's let's go to Rostock first. You didn't see that. 
Right, Rothstock. We did manage to pick up a few things. Um, oh, yeah, I got nothing to disassemble with. <laughs> Didn't we just fix our armor a little bit? What? What? Oh, I stepped into the electric anomaly, of course. Ah. Uh. And at this base, we're gonna end up in wall territory at night. The golden hour is beautiful as ever, though. Are you serious? Now I'm gonna try and pull away from this. Alright, kill the controller. Good chap. I'll take that arm. Thank you. Oh, the rats. No. I have absolutely nothing to clear them with. Not enough money to to do anything either. We will turn a mission at the um, bartender, so that should give us just a little bit of money. Oh boy, the struggles! I buy some cigarettes, but I don't have anything to light them with. <laughs> okay, I need matches. Does he have matches? He does. Okay, and I need a... Pack of cigarettes. This will do. <coughs> I think this is the first time in the game ever I've bought cigarettes. It's not that bad. Oh, and there's a campfire I can I can stay at <sighs> and uh, fill up some of the health. Okay, so we gotta go to wild. That's interesting. Oh, it's um, the stash from when we died in the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have the map covered with stashes from, from my deaths. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> right, interdict enemy forces. We're not going to take those. Mm. Eliminate <sighs> mutants in the wild. That we can do. Probably. Oh, there we go, controller hand. That's that's huge. That's gonna give us a lot of cash. Or at least it usually does. The matchboxes I have four, you know what? Uh, it gives us a chance of a stash, even though I'm giving them most of my matchboxes. 
<sighs> okay. <sighs> we're we're gonna stay here a bit until we uh, fully heal up. Uh, honestly, um, our our scientist guy, Professor Semenov, he's he's doing most of the work here. I think I should play as him next time. Okay, uh, we're fully healed up, and um, where do we go first? Let's um, let's go to the uh, I think is Colonel, right? And turn in that mission. I think that's for the controller hand, right? Okay, 7,000. That's not bad, plus a stash. So I, I feel like that was completely worth it. Um, you know what? I'll buy a glow stick. <laughs> Because it's starting, it's starting to darken up, and I'm not sure if um, I'll make it to wild like this. I should probably buy um, a healing kit as well, but uh, you know what? I'll I'll just risk it. There may be an anomal uh, an artifact there, but I'm not going for <laughs> I'm not going for it. <laughs> I, I just want my gear back right now. <laughs> okay, let's give this guy the matches. Okay, uh, we actually have a stash here in Rostock. So, let's go grab that. If I remember correctly, it should be on top of uh, everything. Yeah, definitely up. Trying not to hit the plants. the outside. <clears throat> yep, it was up there. Well, the view is beautiful, at least. Even higher? I don't remember being able to climb higher. Oh no, it's under here? There we go. Uh, well, we've got some armor repair kits and some weapon repair, repair kits. That's, that's good.
I was checking to see if there's anything I could sell. I'm a bit overweight without a backpack. But it doesn't look like it. Alright. Finally wild. I'll go around this because I know it's very radioactive usually in that uh, area on the right. Um, but we can get this stash, I think. Uh, where was it? There we go. Oh, Edprocene. A lot of ammo and an upgrade. Which is pretty amazing. No rats in here, which means we can take a look at our task board and see what we have here. Eliminate mutants, definitely take that one. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. And next up, we need to get there. Oh, the, the mutants are actually at the train depot. That's... Uh, not gonna be fun. Oh, there's an anomaly there. Oh, but the rads. Okay, let's make a big sprint for it. Okay, we, we did it. Oh, the mutants are here, actually. Okay, what did I pick up? A magnet. So the rads are actually from the... Um... Okay. Got the backpack. Finally, I can uh, disassemble some stuff to make room. And uh, what the hell are you guys fighting? Okay, it was a Psy Sucker. Um. And we got the Psy Sucker hand as well, which is really good. Alright, finally we can take off the rads off of us. We can take the rads off of us. Sorry about that. Okay, what were we doing before we got here? <laughs> Um, actually, I think we're done. Uh, I could try to visit that stash over there. Um, but I don't think it has anything important. Uh, that's just the flesh. Okay. Hmm. Let's let's turn in this mission. And then we can head back to Rostock. Uh, excuse me, sir. Weapons won't. Oh shut up. Okay. We did get some run. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, I could try and heading ba head back to check for that uh, stash, but it's very radioactive. I don't want to do it right now. We could head back to Rostock, deal with those, uh, deal with that mission, and then I'm gonna honestly head to army warehouses and check that golden stash. Ты рассказать чего хочешь, что ли? 
Hmm. No. <laughs> Honestly, I only died to mutants once. Most of our deaths were either radiation or uh, just um, anomalies and plain stupidity on my part. actually com completely forgot where I'm supposed to take that package. Um, down to Cordon, I think. Right. Uh, and also I have two things to drop off in um, Agroprom. Okay, I'm also gonna set up a um, checkpoint here in case I die even more, <laughs> which seems to be a thing, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, we can actually sell all this ammo, get a little bit of money, um, I, I'm not gonna use that right now and I don't think I wanna keep it until I need to use it, so let's just drop these. And uh, I definitely need to fix my armor, because if I don't do it now, I won't be able to do it anymore. Oh boy. Uh, where is it? Go. Okay, that's it for the fixing. Maintain the barrel for this. And it looks like we're good. Um, I might even want to drop stuff at the stash here. That way we can take it... Um, we can go to army warehouses unhindered and then um, take everything back when we... Uh, when we come back through here. I don't want to go through that dead city. Not not yet. Also, apparently, because only one person commented on where I should build my base, it's going to be dead city. <laughs> right, let's see. What do we need when it comes to meds? Um, everything. So let's, let's buy some. We can sell the glow sticks. Um, I'll keep the antidote just because it heals head and torso, uh, which is really awesome. But I will drop some of the Edprazine for cash, and um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> also the syringes. Right, and we'll take all of these. Um... We're, we're not doing that bad on money, honestly. But uh, we are also not doing good on bullets, so I'm gonna buy some. Yep, this'll do for now. And we can drop a lot of the stuff we are carrying right here. Um, 
Yeah, we can come back for this later. Okay. I think we just checked the missions, but I'll do it once again. See if anything new came up. <laughs> oh, great, dangerous mutant in Crouch Cemetery. Um, that's gonna be a bloodsucker at some point. See, maybe I have some of these mutant parts. Actually, no, I don't. Um. Yeah, we're very poor at the moment. <laughs> Okay, if there's one thing I'm scared of in army warehouses, it's um, radiation. So now uh, let's let's hope we catch a little break when it comes to that. Holy crap. I was worried about radiation and I'm out of matches. Ah, okay, drink vodka. I was worried about radiation in the army warehouses only to get completely owned by radiation in Rothstock. <laughs> oh, Julie box, box? That's gonna be a little bit of money. I did hear cats up there. I don't want to deal with them right now. Okay, you know what? We can go for that stash in Bloodsucker Village first. I think we can make it. There might be some bandits right here. Oh, there might be some rats up here. Oh god. Okay, no, we cannot get that stash. That stash is in the burning house. And uh, the burning house is, uh, well, burning. <laughs> uh, so completely in inaccessible without some good burning resist uh, gear. How are you fighting? Oh, it's a bandit. Got him. Oh, wow, he had a grenade. That's actually pretty big. And we hear lurkers. I actually wouldn't mind fighting some lurkers. Unfortunately, it's just a lurker tail. 
um, yeah, let's let's just go straight to the um, stash. I really wanted to avoid that truck. Oh god, the rats! Okay, finally a good weapon, and. Um, Is this heavy armor? It's medium armor. Uh, I mean, it's intended for exploration of the zone, so I think uh, I think I'll take it. <laughs> a more nimble stalker barrel five suit, which is basically a um, combat suit, and we have advanced tools, which is just perfect exactly as I was hoping. Okay. Um, so at this point, I'm gonna head to um, the Freedom Guys. Let's see what I can sell off. I'll just have some beer. Here are the rads. And um, then I should start uh, making a base. And as I said, the base will be in um, in that city, which will be pretty interesting, especially since we have rad problems. <laughs> Let's see what the freedom guys want. Ah. Uh, Explosive in the military. No, no, that's that's not an ecologist thing to do. Uh, okay, uh, Bloodsucker and Bloodsucker Village. That we can do. I would like to examine its remains. <laughs> okay, Grog Runner. Um, we can do that. It's a free stash, if I remember right. Dog meat, we can do that right now. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much it. Oh god. Right. Uh, no, definitely don't want to do that one. Oh, stash is actually pretty close, although it may be pretty radiated as well. And, um... Oh, of course, the... the I, I only have a little bit of dog meat. I needed more. Right, let's go get that stash. Let's see what we have. Um... I really like it when it's raining like this because um, it makes it makes the map a bit more uh, it illuminates the map a little bit I should be far away far enough away from that that it doesn't um, get me and here's the stash don't care about the pistol. I should probably give one of these armors to um, off carry. Okay, here's our guy. 
the job is done. Um, we have a stash in Red Forest. Some vodka, fentanyl. This is pretty good. Okay, so what's our next thing? Our next thing is going to be heading back to Rostock, turning in these two missions. Oh. Oh, God. So sometimes the task board um, bugs out and you take a mission, but it takes a different mission, which is really, really annoying and stupid. Okay, that's another uh, deliver drugs mission. What? I had to do with something. Oh, dog meat. There we go. So, you see, I tried to take the dog meat mission. Ended up taking a kill, st kill the stalker mission. Which is just awesome. Okay, we have a stash in radar, which is pretty interesting. The radar stash... I'm not sure, but I think it can drop uh, expert tools, which is pretty cool. So, uh, with all that said, let's head back to Rostock. I'm going to give Semenov um, both the armors to carry, and um, yeah, that's that's good enough. You know what? I think. Yeah, I, I wanted to have an app, but. Um... I, I don't have any sleeping pills, so let's just go back to Rostock. I'm really happy about the research tools we got. Uh, research tools, oh my god. <laughs> I'm really happy about the advanced tools we got. What the hell's that? Oh, it's just a rock. Okay. Keep on moving. Hmm. Oh, these guys are expensive. But they do have exosuits, so it's understandable. Okay, Rostock. Um... At this point, all I want is to get our stuff and head back to Yantar. Flashlights turned turned off from the electric anomaly. Okay, we do have a couple of uh, missions to turn in. Where is the guy? Oh no, this one's for a killing mission. Yeah, the one I accidentally took, and we're not gonna do that. Just gonna have to stay there forever and ever. Oh, actually, the other mission is uh, right here. <laughs> so let's grab everything. Oh, that's a bit heavy, but I think we can give the professor one of the armors. 
There we go. Okay, and uh, it's time to head back. At night, because I am a master of bad choices. <laughs> Fracture. Yeah, I did say I'm not allowed to make them ignore combat. <sighs> oh god damn it. I got hit by an ally. I guess I'll just have to take an ibuprofen and a medkit. And I'm out of water. <laughs> and I don't think I have anything that clears first. But we're gonna have to make our way back really fast. Okay, garbage in the darkness. Don't see anyone here. Oh, never mind, there is someone. And also... There's some fighting over there. Okay, it's actually ecologists. That's nice. Um, do you wanna maybe come with me? No, they don't. Right, let's do a quick check on the task board. We can take that one, we'll do it later probably. Holding goggles, we have that and we're not using them for anything. And it's right here. Might give us a free stash. We got a stash in Agroprom. Still no escorts though. Oh. I hear some fighting over there, I'm just not sure who. Oh, there is someone fighting through the dogs. Oh, never mind, boars. And it's a freedom guy.
Okay, and I think the freedom guy got wasted by the boar, so we can loot this. That's a nice gun. Unfortunately, we can't take it. <laughs> okay, so let's let's uh, move on to what we were doing originally, which is uh, heading uh, back to Yantar. Now, from what I remember, the actual night mutants only spawn a bit later, like after 12, so we should still be a little safe now. Not for long, but hopefully enough to make it uh, back home. And uh, after that, we'll take all our stuff from Yantar, and uh, we'll try to make our way to um, Dead City, where we'll set up the base. Okay, wild territory, we're not gonna spend any time here. Just gonna head straight down to Gantar. We are, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to keep going west. I'm actually really glad I turned on uh, storms. Makes it real interesting. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No rats, please. Okay, okay, finally, we are home. Right, let's drop everything off. I don't remember who wanted the Psy Sucker Hand. Other than this, I think we can sell everything. Oh, I completely forgot to check wild for for uh, the RF signal. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I skipped a little bit there. I. Uh accidentally paused the recording. I didn't do anything, just dropped a, a few things back in the stash. And I was looking at what we need to um, get our medium armor set up. You know what? I'm not going to sell this. This is still really, really good for us. Um, thinking what we could sell. If I get 11k, we could actually... we could actually fix our uh, medium armor. At least one of them. So let's... Um, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's gonna grab anything, everything and see what we need, actually. Hmm, yeah. So all of these would cost about 11k. We can't make equipment just yet. Yep, 
Yeah. Can't make one of these either. Yeah, we're very, very low on parts. All parts. And we don't even have enough wood for that. Um, okay. Let's just... Let's, let's actually see what we could tell here. I'll drop the gun repair kits for now. I'll keep this one. Um, I don't think we will ever use these. Plastic film, that can go. We'll need metal parts later. But textile base... I'll keep it. I don't have immediate use for fasteners or textile base, so might as well sell those. Um, and whatever we have duplicates, we might as well sell the lower part. When it comes to armor, I mean. There we go. This too. Okay, I still need about a thousand. Is there anything else we could sell? Drop everything off. Oh, actually... Hmm. You'll just have to bear with me while I, while I look through this stuff. <laughs> Okay, we can sell the mix mixed nuts and uh, this food, which gives a lot of radiation, vodka and beer, and um, that. Right, I think this should be it. We should be able to make a medium armor kit now. But we need one set of basic sewing kits. We need a couple of sviestas. And there was one more thing. Oh yes, one of these. Ah, um, okay. And with that, we have a medium armor kit. So that means uh, if I just grab everything from here, we might actually be able to fix one of our armors. Okay, definitely not the Keeper of Freedom. Uh, we could actually try and trade that one. Wastelander... Um, okay, this is honestly a ballistic armor. But the Voyager... That would actually be pretty good for us. It's got pretty okay burn resistance. It's got some electrical and chemical. 12% radiation. Which is exactly what... Oh, actually, no, never mind. Our, our, ours doesn't even have radiation resistance. Okay, let's um, drop this off. And I'm going to try and trade the other two armors with um, the professor. Oh, never mind. I forgot it costs a lot of money. Okay, so in that case, we do have a multi-tool. Let's just uh, tear off the patches and disassemble both of them. Okay. And we'll try and fix this up.
Oh boy, this doesn't look very good. Up to 42%. Layered cam, cloth sheets, and layered fire retardant. Okay, we can get... Oh, 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 no, we can't. <laughs> yeah, these are all very expensive. So I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Until we get all these fixed up. Um... So annoying. So close yet so far. Okay, let's drop off what we don't need. And I guess we're we're going to go back out on some missions. Um I could turn in some vodka for... Actually, no, I, I want to give the basic tools. I want to keep the vodka for basic tools. But without it, we're completely out of radiation meds. So that will suck. Right, we definitely need to sell a few things, and... Okay, yeah, I think I'm go going to start selling mutant parts. I didn't actually check the task board to see if we can turn anything in. Uh, we have a deliver the package to Corden. That would be two packages, so we can do that. Uh, tracking device in Great Swamps. Okay, plastic jars, we can do that. Okay, <clears throat> the plastic jars guy is uh, really far away and I don't want to do it during the night. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sell some mutant parts. Basically, things we can get uh, easily back. Okay. Um Yeah, good enough. I know I could have sold, sold them to Butcher, but I really need some of these. <laughs> hmm. And we, we could also use some matches. and we can barely afford them. <laughs> oh, water. Perfect. And we are broke again. <laughs> um. Nope. Alright, so let's take our sleeping pills. And uh, we can have a nap until tomorrow morning.
Okay. So, it's morning. Let's actually drink our water first. We're running low on water again. And grab a chocolate to eat. Okay, we're gonna check our task board. And there's nothing new. So we're just gonna head out to give this guy the plastic jars. And then... Um, I think we're gonna go south to Agroprom and then go to the Great Swamps. There's a couple of good stashes on the way. We can come out through Cordon. That's uh, at least the plan. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> we can actually have our... Um, Our detector out. Oh boy. Rads! Again. Always rads. I can't wait to get a better armor. Okay. And we have a stash in wild territory. Here we can just keep going south. And I should actually leave the um, stuff I need for medium armor back at home. Just in case we die again, I don't want to uh, lose them randomly somewhere. So, um, got that. Ease and... Uh, oh, actually, never mind. We, we built it. We're good. Okay. Let's just keep moving. South, the exit's gonna be that way. Once again, we're very low on bullets, but it seems to be it seems to be the uh, the norm for this run. That sounds interesting. Okay, here we are. Just hoping there's not anything really mean around this area. I'll go around to the right. Just to give us a little breathing room in case, in case we encounter something weird. Okay, there's two stashes. One's there and uh, we'll go for this one first. And I could also take a little pass by uh, this anomaly here. And uh, let's see if there's... Oh! We have a beep. We have a beep and we have rad. Again. 
That's the artifact bouncing around there. I can see it from here. And it's a lamp. Which is good. It's a nice sellable artifact. Alright, let's, let's, um... Oh, the stash is right here, actually. There we go. Oh my. And we have basic tools here as well. Which is great, we can actually give those to a trader. And we have an AK part, which might actually fit on our, um on our own AK. Actually, what AKs were those? I don't think they're better than what I have. 7.4M. But actually, they're both really bad on the barrel, so... Let's, let's not bother with them. Oh, hello there. Any of you want to join? Maybe? You're a trainee? How about you? Nah. Of course they don't. We, we should be used to this by now. Слышали? Глубоко в зоне спать нельзя. Случаются такие кошмары, что можно Always those other jobs. Okay, that's that's actually pretty good. And another stash in the swamp. Although from what I can tell it's close to the pump. From what they say. So I don't really like that. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the task board. Uh, Nocturnal Mutants, we can do that. Just kill missions. No. Uh, basic tools will go to the mercenary guy, actually. Okay, so let's go out through here. We still have some rad resist, which is good. And there is a stash right here. I think it's in the bus. Hopefully we don't get electrocuted. Ooh, 9x19 HP. That's that's just amazing. We'll take those as well. They're gonna sell for a little bit. Okay. I don't think we need... I mean, let's let's go to the military base just so I can sell them. Um, I have a couple of decks of cards and um, some uh, jewel boxes, right? Yeah, those will sell for a little bit. And then we can finally start moving to... Um, cigarette and then we can start moving to uh, the great swamps and the clear sky base with that and we'll definitely have to do a little pass through cordon i'm gonna sell that grenade launcher we're a long way from using those and i'm pretty sure others will drop as well Okay, um, I'm gonna sell the field cooking kit and the fire starter set. 
Although, how much weight is this? I'll keep the fire starter set just because uh, I may want to turn on some uh, campfires here and there. So these, 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 and that. Hey, that that's that's a pretty ruble right there. Um. All the rest I will sell at the mechanic. Okay, right now we will need water. And um, I think we're pretty good on food for now. And these guys also have a medic. So I should buy some medkits. At least one, because we are completely out. Anything else laying around here? Sometimes these uh, these things respawn, and we'd be stupid not to do a quick run and take whatever we can get a... our hands on. Right. Um. Perfect. Okay, and finally, up to the mechanic. So the thing is, once we manage to fix our armor, our new armor, uh, we will be able to uh, hold on to money much easier. I'm gonna sell the optical upgrades kit, kit simply because uh, it's only useful on uh, for upgrading snipers, and we won't have any for a while. So once again, I'd rather just do that. Okay, anything else? I think that is it. Yeah. Uh, so, as, as I was saying, uh, once we get the better armor, we'll suddenly stop wasting money on stuff like uh, radiation meds and... Uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a cascade over there. Because if you take anti-rad or if you smoke too much you'll start getting thirsty or hungry with potass potassium iodide um if if uh you med too much again it, it just ends up costing a lot of money okay i'm gonna go for this mission first it's a few mutants we can probably take them out my cat's on my lap actually right now, and she's decided she really likes my uh, my uh, headphone controller. <laughs> right, that's it. Down to. Can we actually? We should afford to buy some bullets. Oh, wrong way. And you know what? Now that I look at the time, I think Agroprom will be done. No. I mean Agroprom. Yep. Moving to Great Swamps will be done in the next episode. Um, simply because uh, I don't really want to cut too much out of this run. Especially early on. It's It's... I think it's better if I just leave it in one piece. Um, and we are kind of almost at the one and a half mark. <laughs> so we're gonna end it right here. And next episode we will head to the Great Swamps. We'll try and finish all the missions here. Do the stashes. I'll also run down to the Clear Sky Base. I want to uh, make contact with them, see their vendor and all that. And then we will move from below, uh, pass by the church. Actually, there are there's, um, there's an artifact hunting mission here. And the artifacts we need to get are actually really easy. They're not very radiated. So we might do that as well. 
And finally, we will move to Cordon, we'll deliver these two packages, we will talk to Sidorovich. And uh, I think we also have um, Signal in Darkscape, but I think I'll leave that for later. Yeah. After Cordon, we'll move back through the garbage, back home, hopefully we'll have enough to repair our armor. And then we'll start building our home base in Dead City, because that's where the single commenter that <laughs> answered my question about where we should build our base um, likes. So, my dude, congrats. I'll shout, out, I'll shout you out next time, but we're building a base in Dead City, which will be fun. At least it's close to Yantar. Because mercs don't really have a lot of artifact missions. But um, I'm pretty sure it will be fine. Also, the passage through here is crazy with radiation. So uh, I, I'm not sure how that will go. All right. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all next time.